hey my friends it's your old pal Jordan the Lion how are you all doing today I hope you said well I'm doing great today we're coming to you from Las Vegas Nevada once again and one of the last times I was here uh, Eric Singer and I went over to Jose Canseco's Showtime car wash the baseball player Jose Canseco actually owns a car wash and once a week he's there signing autographs usually and we went there and they said oh he actually had shoulder surgery so he's not here you have to come back and see him another time so this time i came back and noticed that he had tweeted that he is going to be doing a free autograph signing at the rampart casino today so i want to go meet him now when i was a kid um there was nobody bigger than jose canseco I mean, this guy was a super, mega superstar. And um, I collected baseball cards. And when I got into collecting cards, I think it was probably, uh, probably the mid, like 1992. But I became a baseball fan in, I really started you know, following it in 1987 because of my grandpa. And by 88, I was a super fan of following everything. So 88, 89, and 90, Jose Canseco was a monster player and his, baseball card his rated rookie this was the biggest card in baseball i mean i remember collecting cards and having a beckett magazine that told you the worth of all cards and at one time it was 60 dollars, and then maybe a year later it was like a 120 dollar card so i always wanted this card when i was a kid i could never get it and jose canseco's career you know he had a pretty good career actually and then he felt like he was banned from baseball. So he got mad at Major League Baseball and decided to write a book where he talked about how many players were out using steroids. And he didn't want to name names, but the publisher wouldn't publish the book without it. And so he named some of the biggest players in the league, some of his friends, as all being considered cheats. And um, it really changed the way baseball was looked at. And I want to go meet him today. He's doing autographs for free, but if you bring your own item, he'll sign it for, I think, $35. So I'm going to see if he'll sign that card. I brought a bat, and I want to see if I can ask him a few questions. I'm going to be very respectful, but I'm kind of curious as to about, you know, his superstardom for the Oakland A's. He was American League MVP, Rookie of the Year, the first and I think only 40-40 player, 40 home runs, 40 stolen bases. And he, I mean, monster, monster career, one of the Bash brothers. So let's see if we can talk to Jose Canseco today. Days with Jordan the Lion. It begins right now. This is another one of those days in my life I never thought I would actually <laughs> live through when I was a little kid. Seeing this in baseball card shops is always just like, wow, look at that thing. That's like, that's amazing. And now to know I'm just, you know, going to go meet him today and he'll probably have no problem signing. That's pretty cool. I also popped over to Big Five Sporting Goods and purchased a Louisville Slugger bat. Gonna have him sign also. Why not? Heck, guy was a major hitter for his day. We have arrived at the Rampart Casino. All right, we gotta look around, but he's here somewhere. This looks like this is it. I see a bunch of sports memorabilia. And a bunch of jerseys over here. There he is. He lives here in Vegas, so I know he makes a lot of appearances. There's somebody else brought a bat. He's been really cool. He's taking all photos and everything. He even has some jerseys here for sale. <laughs> and if you want a baseball, but this photo comes free. Would you mind adding Bash Brothers, Jose? Thank you so much. Been a big fan since I was a kid. I have a uh, YouTube vlog, and I vlogged your, I vlogged your uh, car wash. Oh, yeah? yeah, you were getting surgery at the time, but uh, <laughs> hold the back. Thank you so much. Can you sign it in this one, this blue? Yeah, in the blue. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. Okay. 
So I paid 40 bucks for the bat at Big Five, and he put all that on there for just the $35. He put Bash Brothers, his 4040, National League MVP, and look at that. That is awesome, it's Rookie of the Year. So cool. So here's the signed card, rated rookie. And I asked him if I could interview him. He said he can't do it while he's signing, and he has somewhere to go right after, but he said to leave his, leave my phone number and he'll contact me and maybe we can do it later today. Also, truth is my girlfriend used to have a massive crush on him when she was a little girl, so this was for her. <laughs> and I also got the uh, certificate of authenticity from Jose. He's had people here for about a good hour, just you know, constantly showing up here and there. They have some really cool signed stuff here, some signed baseballs. See Derek, Derek Jeter, Hank Aaron, Cowerkin Jr. See Sandy Koufax and Vince Scully on the same ball. That's very rare. Man, that's, wow. This baseball is actually signed by Michael Jordan. All right, hopefully we do in fact end up getting that phone call from Jose Canseco and we get to meet up with him and ask him some questions. But in the meantime, we're going to California Pizza Kitchen to meet up with the mentalist Jerry McCambridge, Cat, Scott Michaels from Dearly Departed, the whole gang in Vegas. Stratosphere! We're at a place called Town Square. And there's an airplane. I love watching airplanes. This is our spot. They're all here waiting on me. Look at this gang. I thought I was the late one. Look at this beauty. I want a large uh, glass of ice water and a diving board. thought you were going to say a pizza. Large pizza. Hi, how are you? <laughs> you are always the life of the party. You Comes in hugging everybody. Party. It's our duty to make it fun. And I intend to fulfill my duty. We had a lot of fun last night. You had me on your show. You were having me as a guest on your I did. Facebook show. And you know what? Well, you guys are leaving tomorrow, right? Right. What time? Uh oh. Uh, here we go. Uh oh. Because we're moving our show from tonight till tomorrow. Oh, and you need a guest. A good guest. But you have a good guest. <laughs> Show those off again, Scott. What was that that you're giving the women here? Dealing party tours. They sell them as frisbees. But <laughs> no, that's what I. Was that is ingenious for. for Vegas. 115 degree weather, and you got yourself a fan. They're like those uh, windshield things, and then they have their little. That's so. awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I love. <laughs> so I have something for Scott. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna love that. Put that in your hand. Okay. okay. And pour a little water on it. Okay. It turns into a seahorse. Remember those when we were yeah. kids? Yeah, oh, here we go. No, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a disposable towel. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wait till you see how big it, okay. like, how you, you can pull it apart water. and everything. A little bit more water and then undo it. If it's good for travel. Just start unwrapping it. For, like, when you're hot, you it starts out the size of an Alka Seltzer. Oh, yeah. Scott is probably, he washes his hands more than anybody I know. <laughs> Not that it's a bad thing, but he's always like, hey, I'll see you in a minute. I gotta go wash my hands. That's right, that's why I'm giving it to Scott. Oh, look at that. Oh, how handy are these? And wipe your face with it. It's nice and cool because you put it on your face. Wipe your filthy face. Oh, is that great? Oh, it feels really good. That's a cool. Those are ingenious. You know, they're, because when you wash your face and your makeup off, yeah. you get, you know, there's bacteria even on a towel, yeah. on a washcloth. I'm going to do one. You know, it's like, but after, have you ever put it on there and the next day you go to wash it, you're like, oh, that's so good. And that's, that's your product, product, isn't it? Is that ca cosmetics? cosmetics? How many are in there? Ten. That's awesome. Yeah. And so I, I wanted people to just wash their face and throw it away. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's really pleasant. So I brought this. He's a celebrity. He's signing oh, stuff. Okay. I got His that. Helter Skelter, Six He's Degrees of Helter Skelter DVD that he <laughs> produced. Do you watch stuff? I, when he told me, he was like, have you, have you heard of Dilly Parr? I was like, yes. So I wanted to do his dance and for so I watched awesome. that like when I was like in high school and that was like where my life took a turn. <laughs> No. Everybody gets their food and Kat goes to open this thing and it just goes flying across the table. The one time I was not filming. Like Todd said, he's like, you're filming all the other times, but not now. I love 
Got a half Thai chicken salad, it is awesome. So it's pretty much the end of the day. I didn't hear from Jose Canseco. It's possible I'll hear from him tomorrow. He said he'll either get in touch with me today or tomorrow. But uh, I, <laughs> I checked over the footage that I filmed and uh, boy, did you see his face when I said that I vlogged his car wash? <laughs> that was one of the greatest looks and responses I've ever seen. But uh, if, I, if I get in touch with him, I'll add it to the vlog here. If not, um, sorry, I tried. I did ask him, I did everything I could. But we're gonna take off now and go to the South Point Casino and we're gonna see our friends Nelson performing. They are uh, doing the Rick Nelson tribute show here in Vegas, so let's go. was really an odd duck. It was, it was like the band Boston in its day in the sense that it was too heavy for pop radio and too light for metal radio, so what really was it? We were the heavy metal hollies. That's what we were. <laughs> Pretty much. And that's kind of what we aspired to do because we realized all these years later that unlike a lot of rock bands that are out there, most rock bands that are out there are really inspired by the blues. One, four, five blues. Yeah. Bands, it's wonderful stuff. It really is. We're starting out with the Stones and all that stuff. I'm more of a Beatles guy. I appreciate the Stones. Stones are Beatles, there's the thing, but... Isn't that sweet? It's so sweet. And he played that, and what I heard in my head was... Too many, one kiss too. 
too deep And I feel that old shake in the ground That's a thousand wild horses Thundering behind me Held in our 